open our show each week, we have what we call our Farm Basics Time, where we'll take something that is commonly used or done in agriculture and try to explain it so even if you're a non-farmer, you can understand what we're talking about. Well, today our subject is, what is a lift station? We often talk about drainage on our farm and getting good oxygen levels down in our soil. This is really important and it's a little bit more difficult, especially in really flat or very low lying ground to keep that water table down and to keep two or three feet of the soil profile where you've got 25% oxygen in the soil. That's what we need for microbes and for healthy roots. All right, so here's what ends up happening with all these tile lines that end up running below ground to add more oxygen to the soil. If they're so low that the water can't get out, well, then you have a problem. So what farmers will do is put in what we call lift stations. So they'll basically dig a hole in the ground and have something there. Maybe it's a tank, maybe it's a big pipe, something down in the ground, and then they'll pump water out from that. So in effect, it's really just a sump pump for a field, just like you would have a sump pump in your basement. That's exactly the best description I can give for a lift station. Think about it like a sump pump, because look at your house. You've got tile lines or drainage lines, just like farmers have in their fields. That's what you have around the foundation of your house, and it all slopes down so the water runs downhill, right? Well, it gets to your sump pump, which is basically a tank that you're gonna pump water out. Now, out in fields for farmers, this is larger areas, of course, than just right around one house but certainly for farmers so the pumps it's a little bit bigger yeah it's, it's a bigger <laughs> pump and and here's the challenge for farmers is just wrapping their minds around how much water is really going to move so when you think about an inch of rainfall on a field well you don't think oh that's not very much water right it's only one inch but it's one inch over everything that's 27,000 gallons per one acre, which is about the size of a football field. So if your field was the size of a football field, you now have 27,000 gallons of water that either your crop is going to use or you're gonna to have to pump it out. So with these lift stations, farmers will basically figure out, okay, how much tile is running into this pump and how big do I need to size that pump? And a lot of times what farmers get worried about is, well, how much is it gonna cost to run my sump pump for my field all year long? Well, what we found on our farm, if it's gonna run all year long on a per acre basis, we're probably gonna spend 20 or $30, but maybe it's only five or $10 most years when the pump barely runs. And again, keep in mind, we are in a drier area of the country. Last couple of years, we've had record rainfall, but that's only been about 40 total inches of annual precipitation usually we get 20 to 22. Now you may be wondering okay if they're pumping this water out how clean is the water well again anytime we're doing subsurface drainage tile pipes just like the pipes around your house the water has to go down through the soil which is a natural filter and the water coming out is often drinking water quality. The only problem with great drainage is, yes, it will help your crop, but it will also, unfortunately, help you produce more weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.